It's the people I work with. I like the culture. I like everything I've done. Hopefully I've delivered work that served our customers and enjoyed it all along the way. Going way, way back uh, in early childhood, I uh, thought my vocation would be a uh, mountain climber. When I realized that you don't get paid for that, you actually have to pay, then I kind of uh, just fell into my natural aptitudes in math and science and just went with the flow from there. And by the way, I never did climb a mountain or even engaged in spelunking. I am a uh, member of the uh, senior staff in the Materials Science and Technology Directorate at the lab. And at present, my work assignments deal, continue to deal with the DOE spent nuclear fuel inventory in its interim wet and dry storage. And this is a Office of Environmental Management topic. And I also deal with the commercial spent nuclear fuel in the country with the uh, Nuclear en Energy Office of DOE. Well, it is a substantial, unprecedented uh, challenge that they had. It was about uh, 30 million cubic meters of material they had to deal with uh, of contaminated materials, and that's a mile by mile by 30 foot high type of volume of waste that they're still dealing with. When we went over there on a several month assignment, we established for them, since we sort of knew the elements of a remediation system, sort of synthesized a environmental remediation system for that ministry, looked at what they were doing. They were doing right things, but we helped to pull that together and then we helped improve some of the activities that they were doing. Actually, I'm proud of almost everything I put my hand to. I'm um, very particular. I strive for technical excellence. My core identity now is managing aging of uh, nuclear materials and systems and demonstrating their, their safety. So I feel I have a competency on that now. So I am proud of my work product. At this point in my career, I would like to um, transfer a lot of my views on how to approach work and how to make R&D a business to our young staff. It's not just a matter of mentorship of technical topics, but I want to get them into a mindset of um, how to do work for a customer, meet schedules, meet it with excellence, and how that's going to lead into a technology portfolios that they would then own. The young researchers should be flexible and when they're working with uh, new teams to be receptive and learn and maybe grow in their own abilities from that integrated work team. The other thing is to treat your research as, as a project. I preach and I, I uh, tell people R&D to make it a project is the way to go. That means it has a stop point and it has a completion point. You will endear yourself to a customer. And if you achieve those results in that project with excellence, then, then uh, success will breed, breed success. And the last point I want to uh, advise the, the young staff is that try to have um, a, a buddy system with your pursuits. If you're a, a cult of one in your research, nobody really knows what you're doing. So in that buddy system, it's either a colleague that's in the same thing that may be your reviewer on your work or your uh, immediate group manager, but do have that uh, technical um, R&D buddy. Uh, no doubt it's the uh, intimacy of SRNL. We're a small lab, and because of that, we can work seamlessly and quickly when we uh, get into projects. That also then transcends into friendships that we can maybe 
carry back home and, and, and a uh, camaraderie then with, with these with our work comrades and then in the, in the local community. You know, Savannah River then becomes a way of life. It's your whole being. You spend so much hours and so much time at work that it behooves you to learn to uh, enjoy, have fun, and get along with the people you work with.